Hello everyone, I am Rachna Pathak from Valchan Institute of Technology, Sholapur. In this session, we are going to see installation of Joomla using XAMPP server. This complete Joomla session is made up of two parts. Here, I start with my first session that is part one. Learning outcomes. At the end of this session, audience will be able to explain all about Joomla and installation process of Joomla. So, overview of this session is introduction and stepwise procedure of how our Joomla is installed. Now, beginning with introduction part, let us see what is Joomla. Today, websites have become a major part of our lives. Joomla is one of the most powerful open source content management system. It is basically based upon developing simple website to complex corporate applications. Joomla is one of the most powerful open source content management systems. Joomla probably has a pre-built module to transform it in a social bookmarking website. This is too easy to install, its managing is quite simple and the best part, it is very reliable. It also enables you to build websites and powerful online application. With the minimal amount of instruction, I mean you need not to spend hours to empower users to manage their own sites easily. Joomla's greatest advantage is that it is available with a large number of extensions that you can use to plug in extra features into your website and transform your website into own choice of design. Best part is that it is an all-inclusive application. Now, of course, Joomla runs on your PHP and MySQL. So, here are five famous websites built using Joomla. First one is your eBay. The American multinational e-commerce corporation, eBay uses Joomla to launch a community portal as part of its internal analytics platform. All active collaboration in terms of content creation, discussions, sharing of document is part of this community. Analytics, that is eBay's employees are sharing this. It also allows other extensions and integrations to ensure a smooth flow of content delivery on the e-commerce sites. Another famous website is GA. It's the second largest company in the world and you will be surprised to find out that GE uses Joomla too. It was launched during the GE transportation website. With Joomla, GE and its employees get all necessary tools to interact and engage in interactive website and contents for their customers. Next is, of course we all are aware about it, Harvard Univers University. The graduate school, which is well known, uses the website that the main university site is built on Joomla with a customized template. It uses Joomla version 2.5. Featured extensions are your K2. Template used for this is customized template. Another one more example is your Holiday Inn. Holiday Inn is one of the largest hotel chains in the world. With hundreds of guests flocking in out with their hotels, Holiday Inn uses Joomla to manage and maintain all your customer reservations and bookings. And the last, the famous website that is Unrec. So this uses Joomla version 1.5. United Nations Regional Informatic Centers for Western Europe. Even this website uses Joomla. So now, let us see the stepwise procedure for installing Joomla. First step is open your browser and type joomla.org in the search engine which is official organization of Joomla. After that, click on first link from all the available links. So here I have depicted with the help of arrow. Just type joomla.org which is a official site. Click on your first link and move to next step. Now, in the next step, you will see somewhat like this. Your screen is somewhat like this. That is official site of Joomla as displayed. 
Now you just have to click here, start the download. There are different versions of Joomla, but we are looking for 3.9.1. Of course, now the steps are going to remain same for all other versions too. Now, as indicated on screenshot, just click on and start downloading. So you just have to click here and your download will begin. Now, here you can see it's already downloading the zipped folder. So this is your downloading. Next step. So we have completed our downloading and now we just copy the zipped folder and paste it in htdocs folder nested in your XAMPP folder. Now the location may vary on your screen or on your system. It basically depends on where your XAMPP is located. Your my location is at C drive slash XAMPP folder nested in htdocs slash Zoomla. So you can see path over here, right? Now, copy the zipped folder and paste in C, XAMPP, htdocs and you can create your new folder and paste over there. Let's see in detail. So, let's do the step. Here I have created new folder where your XAMPP is located. I have created folder named it as Zoomla as pointed on screen. So, this is how computer, your local disk C, then XAMPP, htdocs and I have created one more folder named as Joomla. So just extract your downloaded zipped folder. I have shown my path depicted by the arrow on the top. So you just have to extract your folder which you have currently downloaded. Now we will wait till the extraction step is going on. Wait for the extraction. You can see it's extracting over here. You will get your message like this that your folder is extracting. Just wait for a while. After that, after extraction, you see unzipped folder or all extracted file. Now, this is an unzipped folder. You see so many files over here, your administrator, bin, and many more files. It means you have extracted your folder. Now, we are done with downloading step. Let us start running the process and for that you have to start your XAMPP server and run your Apache and MySQL. You all are already aware how to start. Still I will quickly explain you. Just click on your windows, right? Click on your windows, type XAMPP server, click on it, start both your Apache and MySQL. Now you can see here it is shaded, green shaded light somewhat. I mean it is used for highlighting. It means you have already started your Apache and MySQL. So you can see over here you are getting a message stop, stop, start, start. Now my process are already running so I am getting as stop, stop. It means they are currently running. So you are done. Just check everything is working okay on your local host. So now we just open our browser and type localhost slash Joomla your folder name. I have shown you type localhost slash Joomla on your bar, URL address bar. Okay, that's it. Just click on enter depicted on the screen and here you can see after the step Joomla on screen it means everything is working appropriately and fine. Okay, you can see after entering, you'll be able to see a screen like this, that is Joomla. It means everything is working okay. Now, next step is to configure and for that, let us fill up all the essential data. Complete all the fields and click on next. Make sure you fill up all mandatory fields first. Here we see the screenshot constituting of name, password and description box. I have given Rachna as a username. You can give any of your choice, okay? Joomla test as a site name. You can see over here, Joomla site name, description, your email, right? Your username, password, confirm password. One more important thing is your email address. Give your current mail ID or I can say a valid mail ID because sometimes you need to verify your account that is for verification and confirmation steps. 
So just make sure you are giving a valid email ID. Now, these were some of your field. Select language, site name, description, email username, and many more such stuff. Okay. Now, just click on next. What you have to do is just fill up, click on next. You just have to click next. Now, next step is creating your database, which is very essential. Here you have to create your default database by giving your username as root and empty password. Database type is MySQL as shown. Database name can be arbitrary. I have given my Joomla. Let the table prefix be default and click on your next step. So you just have to fill up this. You can fill up as I have done. Database type MySQL, host name, local host. I have already given your call out message. The only thing you have to take care is host name should be your root and you should give your password as a empty field. Fine. And then just click on next. After that, you have to just scroll it down. Check whether everything is working fine. Just scroll and go to next step. Here is your final step. You just have to select radio button default English amongst all choices and click on install as shown on the screen. So just see the second option, you can see your default English, okay? Select that radio button and click on install. Here you have to do nothing but just scroll down, just scroll down. You can just go through this and click on install. Just scroll and install, that's it. After scrolling down, you will see your screen somewhat like this. Just click on and install as pointed by the arrow. This is for the previous step, right? Now, wait till installing. Now, this may take time and you have to wait till installing. This, is, this doesn't end up here. We need few more concluding steps and ha I have already shown in part one. Now, you have to watch my part two video for further steps. That means take a complete Joomla tour. Till then, I have a question for you. After this complete session, can you answer what are essential changes needed during Joomla installation on different operating system? Please take a pause and answer this question. Here is your answer. The only thing changes is the type of your server. The references I have used during the creation of this session. Thank you.